G'day folks, Rod from My Waterfilter here today. And what we're gonna do is the installation of a UV system for a whole house. It's the style of UV with the double nuts on either end, okay? Now, what you can see here, we've just installed a triple whole house water filter here on the farm today. And uh, we're gonna install the UV. Just be aware that the same installation for a triple as a twin, okay, if there was only just the two housings and this one wasn't on there, so even if it's a twin or a triple, whatever it might be, we're still gonna install the UV system exactly the same, all right, there's no difference at all. So we'll just take it easy and we'll uh, get this on. So we've already had the system delivered to us last week, we've opened it up, we've looked inside, made sure that we've got all the pass parts okay, and we also plug the UV light in to make sure that it's not broken and it has made the journey with the courier okay. Being glass, you just never know, all right? So the first part I'm taking out of the bag here is the holding clips to hold the actual stainless steel housing onto the wall, all right? This will be a pretty simple process. We'll just get a tech gun with a tech screw and we're just gonna screw this straight onto the wall, okay? Pretty easy going there. Just drop a level on the top. You get a marker. Second one. Beautiful. Simple as that. Straight on. Okay. And once you've done that, Here's the stainless steel chamber, and we just push him in, and he's locked on, all right? Now, just be aware that a couple of things, we're mounting this one here today immediately above the water filter, okay? And if you were worried about any water coming down over anything, you might want to mount it left or right to the side. Uh, the manufacturers do prefer that these systems are mounted in this way, in a horizontal position, but it is totally okay and they will accept if they're mounted uh, vertical on the side, all right? But if you mount them vertical on the side, obviously it's gonna be looking a little like so, okay? When the water, like the water's gonna go in the filter like normal, when the water comes out of the filter, you really wanna run the water in at the bottom, okay? And then the water will come in at the bottom and it'll come up through the chamber and that's to get the air out, all right? That's the main reason that uh, we're gonna connect it in the bottom. So out of the filter, into the bottom of the chamber, as it fills, all the air can come out of the top and it'll bleed through and you're good to go, all right? Today, we'll just screw him straight on here like so, okay? So we've got him locked in position, we're all ready to go. I'll get some pipe fittings together and we'll have to come along and we'll connect up the pipe work. Okay, now what we're gonna do here is we're going to actually connect up the pipe work to flow the water through to get this system operating, okay? Now, because we're adding the UV to the whole house system, we will pull this apart a little bit and uh, get the new pipe work installed and then we'll be able to come back here where we were, okay? So, first thing we're gonna do is get some good old Australian plumber's thread tape and uh, pull the caps off, the inlet and outlet, and we're gonna wrap about eight wraps of thread tape around those threads, okay? You might think I'm doing a few more wraps, but it's quite deep, deep uh, thread there. So I'm doing the six or eight wraps over the complete surface. Start with about six wraps at the front, run down about eight wraps at the top. So there's a bit of a camber on with the, with the thread tape and those fittings will lock on as they're connected on there, okay? Beautiful. Now, some fittings that are gonna screw on the top. Take your time, make sure you don't cross thread him. 
Now you may notice that I'm using PVC here. It is correct. You could be plumbing this with a whole range of different products. Copper, not a problem. Poly pipe, I don't really like because it moves too much when it gets hot and cold, okay? So it's just sort of moving around a bit. With the good old PVC, we screw it on and uh, we glue it into place and she's pretty well locked there and it'll do a good job for us for as long as we need, all right? Okay, that's those. We'll come out of here. We'll angle him across to the wall. Now normally, as you're going along, there's a couple of ways you can do it. You might want to get here, whoop, you might want to get here and uh, cut your pipes, push them together and just push them all into place. Make sure that you haven't got any mistakes if it's the first time that you're doing it and it pushes together pretty easy all of this pipe. Once you've got it in position and you're happy where it's going, then you might want to uh, pull it apart and glue it, okay? And that'll be a bit more of a, a fail safe way of putting this together, okay? But if it's your game and you're used to using PVC pipe or something like that, then uh, we'll just put him together and we'll just glue, it, glue him in as we go. Basically here's the PVC glue. There's different brands and qualities of course, this is the most common. And you basically just get that glue, wrap it around, push the two together, lock them into place and uh, the job's right. Okay, so that's gonna sit there nicely like so. Run him along the wall to the other end. Okay. Get the burrs and stuff off, make sure she's pretty clean. All right, later on, we put a couple of clips on there to lock him in place, take the weight of everything and support, but it'll also help when we get up over the top here as well. We should be good to go, okay? Sweet. Okay. Okay. Very good. Give or take a couple of inches. We're uh, hanging in there at the moment, okay? So that there 
is basically our water coming in through the system, twin or a triple, whatever we got doesn't matter. Water's coming out of this end filtered down to at least five micron for the UV light because that's what you require. Sediment carbon through here and we're coming in the end of the chamber. This chamber will be full of water later on and obviously uh, the water will pass through and come out this end. We'll come out of here now and just run it down to the ground and uh, we'll be good to go. Okay, so at this point of time, even though today we're just pushing it together for you for an example, you would normally glue these connections, as I say, you could set it up, get it all happy, make sure you're right. Uh, to keep it nice and neat, we probably could have run these at the same height over there. They would have been nicer in the long run, but uh, today we'll get away with that one. So once you've got it to this point of time here, we have connected the pipes and uh, we'll have a little stop for a minute We'll get the components for the sleeve and everything for the actual light, and then we'll come back and put those in in a second for you. Okay, folks. Now what we're gonna do now that we've got everything set up, we've got all the pipe work in place, we've uh, glued it all together, and we're happy, all right? So now we're gonna install the sleeve through the inside of the housing and uh, seal it up with the O-rings at each end, and then the water can be turned on, okay? So simple process, a couple of nuts on either end. You can see that the little earth attachment's here, and we've got the nut with the hole in the end, all right? So that's where the power wire's gonna be. On this end here is a second nut, but it's just a full up, sealed up nut, okay? So situation is, already been through our box before. We know that our glass is uh, in good condition, etc. So we'll just take him out. Okay. Now, just be careful, all right? There's just nothing else I can say. Just be careful. It is glass, they are thin. 
and they will break, okay? Now at this point of time, you really should have some gloves on, all right? You do not want to be touching these glasses without gloves on, okay? So whatever you do, go get yourself some gloves and uh, keep your handprints and your fingerprints and everything off this glass. The light has got to penetrate through this glass into the water to kill the bugs and you don't want fingerprints all over it, all right? I apologize, I'm not wearing any. So, situation is, we pull our nuts off either end, get our thimble, and we gently slide it in. And I mean gently. Just treat it like an egg, folks, all right? Now, this thimble is on an angle hitting down and it's touching on the bottom here, okay? So I just wanna gently put my finger in the other end, lift him up, put a bit of pressure on it with this finger to centralize it. And there we are. I've just got a little bit the same sticking out each end, all right? That's how it's gonna end up. That's how it's gonna seat and sit. Next thing is we get the O-rings that we've got to install with. Now take a look at your O-rings. These are just normal round O-rings, maybe a bit oval. Sometimes they have a flat on the inner circle. And if you just roll them on, they can uh, sort of half turn over and they just aren't seated nice and neat in a round pattern and they can leak, okay? Uh, something else you can probably do if you had trouble with sealing them is uh, put a bit of uh, rubber grease on them, something that isn't gonna eat away the rubber, obviously, and that'll help to seal it up as well, okay? Now, you wanna be careful, you're not pushing it out the other end or anything like that. So we'll come to the bell end here first. Okay. You can see there, just putting this O-ring here on this end. Okay, then we'll put our nuts on. I do want this one up tight. Okay. And we're doing them up as about as tight as you can by hand. They've got to be firm. No ifs or buts about it. They've got to be firm, okay? So we tighten him up and lock them both up as tight as you can, all right? Both of them locked up tight. As Soon as you get them to this stage, she's locked on, we're good to go, and it should be sealed. Those O-rings should have sealed that glass on either end, and the water can't get out. So what we can do now is turn on the water, get it up to full pressure, check that there's no leaks anywhere in the system, check that there's no water, look inside the ballast, have a look, make sure it's all nice and sealed, and if you've got no leaks, happy days, we're good to go, and we move forward. If you've got water leaking any, anywhere, if anything's not looking correct, then just stop, pull it apart, dry it and start again. Take your time, it's not something that you wanna be just racing a, 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 a task to do before work or something like that. So make sure you set the appropriate time aside to do it. Just relax and take your time and you shouldn't have any problems, okay? Um, yeah, once it's locked in, let's get it up to full pressure. Press, go inside the house, press the toilet, turn the taps on and off, on and off fast, get a bit of shuddering going, make sure that that's happy and it's all set up and it's good and strong. As Soon as you've done that, turn it off and uh, that's what we'll do now. Grab the globe and the electric components and we'll come back and we'll put those in. Rightio folks, here we go. We've had the water on, we've brought it up to pressure. There's not a leak in sight, all right? Happy days, successful install, and we're good to go. So now that we've connected all the water filtration part of this system, we've turned it on, we've run it, it's up to full pressure, and there's no leaks. We know we've got no leaks in the UV. We know now it's safe to bring the electrical components apart. Even though the electrical components are converted from 240 volts down to 12, uh, 240 down to 12 volts, we still don't want to be mucking around. We still don't want to blow a globe. We don't want to blow a controller. Uh, we just want it to go together beautifully, all right? So in our box, here's our uh, globe here. So we'll grab the globe out. Beautiful. Once again, we don't want to be touching this with your fingers. So gloves should be worn. And uh, please do read the instructions because when you take these globes out, 
you want to get there and give them a wipe with some alcohol or some metho. So take a look at the instructions and uh, have a look what it says in there. But this is us folks. Gently, gently, steady, steady, slide now globe bin all the way to the end. We're nearly there, okay? All we got after that is our controller. Once again, very, very simple situation, okay? We've got four plugs on the end here. It goes through the controller, which switches it from 240 to 12 volts. We've got a status indicator on this one and an alarm, so red when it's not going, green when it's going and we're happy, alarm when it's not on, so you're good to go, okay? Now, simple installation here. We're just gonna plug this on the end like so, gently push that globe inside as far as he wants to go, put our rubber cap over the top so he seals up, push him right on, underneath here is our little earth wire, take that little nut off. On with the earth wire. Back on with our little nut. Okay. A little, sp little spanner there somewhere to tighten him up. Not a great big one like this one. Okay. Folks, you've just installed a UV system, okay? What we're gonna do now is get the uh, electrical cable, if we could please, that'll be great. And away we go. We'll turn him on. As we turn him on, get a bit of a beep, sound first, and you'll see our green light is now lit up. The light will be on inside, the water will be coming through, and all the bugs are killed along the way, okay? Fantastic system for the whole house, for a whole family, and it's a great way to go. Now, couple of uh, quick do's and don'ts. If we get this electrical cord and we mount it up here like this, in the winter in Australia, there's a lot of moisture in the air. It doesn't even have to rain. So ideally, this system should be fully enclosed or inside a shed or out of the weather, okay? The Australian sun is so harsh that 10 years on one of these systems and they're gonna be real brittle and dry, okay? So cover them up, get them out the sun, they'll last years, all right? But uh, just leave them to the elements and you won't have as much success. This is a UV system, does have water inside. It doesn't mean that they want to have water in here, okay? We don't want to have any water in the electrical components of the system. Now, if you have this box up the top, when we get the condensation in Australia in winter, that condensation runs down the cord and it will run into the end of the globe and the electrical wires, it's gonna short out and it's gonna ruin it, all right? So you can have the box up, but this lead has gotta dip down first, okay? By dipping down in a V-shape like so, any condensation on this cord is gonna run down and just dribble off the bottom. And then this cord can go wherever you want, run it up to the uh, plug above your head, whatever. But when it comes out of the UV, the cord has got to go down so that all the water's running away from it, all right? Now, if you're gonna have this outside, I just wouldn't leave it unexposed like that and expect this rubber to be protecting that from the rain, all right? This water gets into everything. So this needs to be sealed in some way, especially on this end, all right? You'd get away with it with the rest of it, but all of this electrical part here, you wanna have that dry at all times, okay? or else it'll just short something out. No, no, no joke about it, all right? So there you have it, she's on, it's sterilizing the water. It's a very popular way to go, it's a great way to go, and uh, highly recommended. Thank you very much.